My name is Paul Diggins and I was Head of Media and Public Relations for the Post Office for a number of years. Postcodes became important in the 1970s because for years and years and years we had manually sorted the mail. But as mail developed and the volumes of mail developed on an annual and daily basis, we had to do something about sorting because the laborious way of sorting the mail by hand was far too slow. Without postcodes on envelopes, all these machines would not work at all. Um, and it was pointless investing heavily in a mechanised letter office without postcode usage. So the idea was to postcode every address in the country. And in the 1970s, you're talking about 26 million addresses. So it's a lot of people that have got to be educated to use their postcode. And nobody really wanted to use their postcode. So we had to come up with all types of campaigns and ideas to try and promote postcode usage in the UK. So POCO was the idea for this character to promote postcodes. Now POCO is obviously taken from the word postcode. So the idea is who remembers things best of all on this planet? Well, an elephant always remembers, it never forgets. And if you put a knot in its trunk, it's a double reminder. So Poco the postcode elephant was born. County shows were a big part of the post office scene in the 70s and 80s. And we came up with this idea of a walking elephant that would give rides to children. And in order for children to get a ride, their parents would have to actually do a ticket with their name, address and postcode on. Uh, and they could find out the postcode by visiting the post office stand. We had a giant poco head that floated. The young farmers cut it down and it floated way up into the sky. At 2.30 in the morning, my telephone rang at home. This is the Air Ministry. Are you Paul Diggins? Are you responsible for a giant elephant's head? You are now interrupting uh, flights to and from Stansted uh, Airport, Luton Airport and Heathrow Airport. What are you going to do about it? Because this elephant's head is in the way of our flights. So I said, well, can you leave it with me <laughs> and I'll get back to you. I had to talk to Peter Bourne who provided the gas for uh, the giant Poco head and got him out of bed at three o'clock in the morning. And he was on the tour with the Rolling Stones. He had to release 5,000 balloons uh, at the end of the Rolling Stones concert in Germany. I got hold of him in Germany and he said, don't worry, the gas inside will gradually go up to a certain height and then the gas will invert and the elephant's head will come down. So I rang back and said, it's only going to be a couple of hours that we're interfering with flights. I'm very, very sorry. In the 1980s, the manual sorting and coding of letters, uh, the machines put a series of blue dots on envelopes that could be read by the machines to sort the mail. So in order to educate, again, postcode usage, we put together a number of shows called the Postcode Experience and the Blue Dot Experience. Um, and that was really an education role of why blue dots or blue measles were appearing on envelopes. And we were introduced to Brian Daly. He was the musician who wrote all the music for Postman Pat. And I said at the time that we'd got this character called Poco the Postcode Elephant. What about writing a song about postcodes? And he took this away and he said, yes, okay, I will write two, I will write a song about POCO and postcodes, and then I'll do a song called Writing Letters for the B-side. Uh, we had competitions um, with the POCO song, and we gave out gold records to radio stations, which again would not use postcodes as part of their addresses, but they did once they got a gold record on the walls. Postcode, it's so simple to do. Then the people that you send to, they can do the same. Um, we said we need to develop this slightly further and have a POCO fan club and we had a recorded announcement on a special telephone line and we issued I think 10 POCO comics in the course of 18 months uh, where people would write in for their free comic and POCO's postcode fan club became absolutely immense. 
Well, in a career lasting 30 years, um, I was very, very privileged to be part of the Postcode promotions. And I was so, so pleased that the little cartoon character, Poco the Postcode Elephant, did what it said, that it, it tried to help people, to educate people to get postcodes as part of their addresses. 